Hi BVO family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Master Tong and today we're gonna work on the B twist. So warm up your body, stretch it out properly so you guys don't get injured and you can perform at a higher level. Let's get started into the video right now. Bam! Step one on B twist. Of course, the most important thing is you have to get that butterfly down. So if you haven't seen that video, please click this one here so that you can take that skill to the next level. Now, once you're mastered that, please come back to the video. So first tip is do the same motion as the butterfly position like that, but the only difference here, Power Ranger mode. So just cross your hands. So you're gonna go one, pinky touches the ground, two, all the way once your body gets to this leg, you wanna cross your hands and make an X. And just practice this a few times. So you're gonna go one, two, and you see you have to turn your body and twist your body to the back. Very important. So from side view, you're going to go down and two, just like that. Pinky, like that, and then here, and then turn, and then up. Step number two. So from here, what you're going to do, you're going to do the same thing, one, two, and turn your body this way. And what you're going to do from here is going to go up, right? And all you do is just turn your hands to the way you spin and keep your knees together, but just keep this leg on the ground and all you do is land, that simple. So practice this a few times so that you can get comfortable with that spin. So you're gonna go one, up, and tuck, two. Just like that. And one smooth motion, two. One, up, spin, tuck. So when you're spinning, make sure you're spinning on the ball of your foot, not your heel, just so that you can get used to it. And if you practice that step enough, your body will actually memorize that feeling, so it'll be easier for you to commit to your beat twist. Next one is just doing a little hop. Step number three, same thing, one, two, three, and as you go up here, what you wanna do now is tuck one, and do a little hop, make sure you look over your shoulder, and then look on the ground right away, just like this, and land. So try to land on your left leg. So one, two, and land on your left leg. And your goal is to look at the ground at all times. That way, it'll help you guys out to get over that fear and build more confidence. Uh, how can I say this? It's like a pro boxer once said, if you see a punch coming all the way, most likely you won't get knocked out. But if you see the punch and close your eyes, even for that 0.01 millisecond, you won't see that coming and where it's hitting, and you won't be able to prepare your body for that impact that's why you'll get knocked out. So same with this drill. As soon as you're spinning, you might feel that you can't see the ground and it's all blurry, and that is not good. As soon as you go up, you wanna see the ground at all times by turning your head as fast as you can, so that way your body feels safe and secure. And practicing it like that and doing it many times will actually build more confidence for you so that you can jump higher and higher. So one more time, you're gonna go down all the way, make a half pipe motion, make that nice dip, and then from here, as soon as your body turns, you're going to look on the ground right away and tuck and down. So that's what you want to do. And if you guys want to practice your spin, you can also check out the spinning video after you watch this one. And that video will actually help you guys a lot with a lot of other spinning drills. Now, this time, you just want to commit. Say commit. You just want to take off and spin as fast as you can. And all you want to do when you're in the air, look on the ground. And you just want to focus on landing on your left leg or whichever leg that you're landing with. So tell your mind, okay, I'm going to do this. Do the first step really good and get that flick motion. And from there, just give it a spin. So one flick, spin, and land on your left leg. Just like that. One flick and land on your left leg. So notice how I said flick. When you do that half pipe motion, you want to flick your body, boom, like that. So you're taking off in a rocket ship. That will really help your body to go up higher, so it's easier for you to get that spin and land. And once you get over that fear of spinning, all you do is just keep practicing, practicing, enhance your flicking, try to keep your knees together, and maybe one day you can add a kick on this trick. Bam! Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you found that this video helped you guys out on your beat twist, please share this with a friend. And if you love this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel as I want to take your skills to the next level. You guys can also check out Bam Bam this video. And until then, we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day and stay awesome. Bam!